if you get a new MacBook, it's really easy to transfer all your information over from the other one. You just want to start by getting your new one to the select country. And then when it asks you to transfer data to this Mac, do from a Mac, Time Machine, or Startup Disk. And then you'll want to connect it to a Wi-Fi network. Then over on your old computer, you want to search for Migration Assistant. So you can do that just by hitting Command Spacebar, typing in Migration Assistant, and opening it up. And then this will exit out of everything you have open on the computer currently. On the old computer, select Transfer to another Mac, and then press Continue. On your new computer, go to this section, and then click on the device right there and it'll ask you to verify that the code is the same on both of them. You'll have to verify it on the old machine before it'll work. And then it'll start to look for everything to transfer. This can take a little bit depending on how big the drive on your computer is. One thing I definitely recommend is have your computers both plugged into power because it can take a while. And also if you have a Thunderbolt cable or a USB 4 cable, use that. Or really any USB cable will help. The Apple charging cables won't go as fast as a Thunderbolt or an actual USB cable though. But then it'll tell you that the connection is over Thunderbolt and this will greatly speed up the transfer. On the old computer, it'll show you all the folders. You can transfer every single setting over. Make sure you also set a password for your admin. And then you have to accept the software license. And then it'll take a little bit to transfer all the information, but using the Thunderbolt cable will greatly increase the speed of transfer. You can also click connection details and see that it'll go way faster with the Thunderbolt cable than if it's using the wireless connection between the computers. It may act like it's gonna take hours, but a lot of times it goes way faster than that, so don't pay attention to the time on it. It should go pretty quickly. Once you're done, it'll tell you the migration is completed and it may give you some warnings and tell you some documents could not be transferred. In the past when I've seen this happen, it wasn't a big deal and I didn't find anything lost at all. My recommendation is just use your computer like you normally would. Make sure nothing is missing before you erase the old one. Once you're done with the setup, you'll have to sign into your iCloud account on the new computer, but they should look exactly the same. All the same apps, all the same files.